We are gathered around this Eucharistic table in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, I would like to acknowledge and welcome the presence of the FMIJ sisters, faculty, and staff, and students of Franciscan Montessori School of the Nativity in Los Baños. So welcome to the Manila Cathedral. Welcome to the Mother Church. And together, let us celebrate this Mass, this Eucharist, in giving thanks to the Lord for the many blessings that you have received, especially as a school when the school year is about to end. May whatever you learn you know, in the school, be also, I mean, the good ones, no? be your guide in life. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with the spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees, and some Pharisees, so he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him? The dispute was so serious that the commander 
afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. O Lord, I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please stand. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Right, with Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me 
may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We hear in the Gospel this morning the last part of chapter 17 of the Gospel of St. John, which is known also as the priestly prayer of Jesus. Jesus has been praying. In the past several days, we heard in the Gospel, Jesus lifted up his eyes in heaven and prayed. So, ipinagdarasal tayo ni Jesus. Ipinapanalangin tayo ni Jesus sa Ama. At ano ang kanyang panalangin para sa atin sa umagang ito? Pagkakaisa. Father, let they may all be one as you and I are one. Make them one, Father. Unify them. Pagkaisahin mo sila. Why is it necessary for us to be in unity? Why is there why is it necessary for the family to be united? Si tatay, si nanay, ang mga anak, nagkakaisa, nagkakasundo. Bakit kailangan ang isang paaralan ay nagkakaisa, hindi nag-aaway-away? Bakit ang isang class section ay dapat na nagkakaisa? Bakit ang bansa ang simbahan dapat ay nagkakaisa. Why? Why is, it, why is unity important? Well, for one thing, unity is needed to progress. There can be no progress without unity. There can be no accomplishments without unity. Pag nag-aaway-away ang pamilya, pag nag-aaway-away ang Ang klase, kapag nag-aaway-away ang paaralan, ang lipunan, walang progreso. Katulad yan ng sasakyan eh. Yung sasakyan may apat na gulong. Hindi aandar ang sasakyan kung yung dalawang gulong sa unahan gustong pumorward at yung dalawang uh, gulong sa likod gustong umurong. O kaya yung apat na gulong may kanya-kanyang direksyon. Imagine a car with four wheels wanting to go separate ways. The car will not move. The car will not move. So they move, no, the, the car moves because all the wheels move towards one direction. There can be no progress without unity. Kaya kahit sa inyo, sa klase, hindi ba? Kapag may project, no? Pag nagtulong-tulong ang lahat, kumilos ang lahat, nagagawa. Nagagawa. Kasi nga, nagkakaisa. But, second, second reason, more important, the first one is this. If we are united, no? People, will believe in us. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Ebanghelyo, the world, Father, does not know you, but I know you, and the world, they will know because of me, because of us. Sometimes, people do not believe in us. We as Christians, people do not believe in us because we Christians are fighting one another. Minsan, meron akong isang inanyayahan na nagsisimba araw-araw. Sabi ko sa kanya, Sister, napasing ko you are very uh, regular in attending the Mass daily. And I invited her. Why would you like 
how, how would you like to join this Paris organization? And I mentioned the organization. I will not mention it now. No? Ang sabi niya sa akin, ay nako, father, ayoko dyan. No? Nag sila sila nag-aaway eh. No? Sila sila nagchichismisan. No? Ayaw niya sumali. Kasi siguro inisip niya, magugulo lang ang buhay ko eh. No? Why is it that some people do not go to, to church? Because we who are going to church are fighting one another. We are not united. We can only convince people to go to church if we, church people, are loving one another. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? They will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Those are two primary reasons why the Lord wants us to be one. As witnessing and as the way to progress. But, let me be clear, there can be no unity without change of heart. There can be no unity without conversion. Sa pamilya, hindi pwedeng magkaisa ng walang pagbabago ng puso. Yung pusong nagmamatigas, yung pusong ayaw tumanggap ng pagkakamali, hindi pwedeng magkaisa. So, let us pray that the Lord will also grant us not only unity, but also conversion of heart. Because there can be no unity without change of heart. Amen. Please stand. Jesus prayed to the Father for unity, waiting for the Pentecost. Let us come to the Father and pray for the true unity among all his children. To every petition, our response would be, Father of all, unite us. Father of all, unite us. That all members of the Church may be one in heart and mind, in union with our Pope and our Bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, of all unite, unite us. us. That the world may believe in Christ by the united example of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, all unite, unite us. us. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into the visible unity of the one church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, all unite, unite us. us. That each family may be made one in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, all unite us. us. That the dead may be called to perfect union with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, all unite us. us. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Holy Father, through these prayers, may all people be led to that unity which you share with the one you have loved before the foundation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us Please pray. Stand. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, I love you, I love you, I love you.